Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then pause the video. Think about it, try it. Press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so it says there is a game where a player draws an envelope from the box and keeps whatever is in it. I gotta fix that to say from a box. Okay, from a box and keeps whatever is in it. The box contains 139 envelopes. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Five envelopes contain $1,487 each. Eight contain $89 each. Three are very unlucky and you lose $543. Okay, it says negative 543. Gotta fix that. It should be a positive 543. If you lose a negative amount, you gain it. That is a problem I have with the program that I used to set this up. I will fix that. And the rest are slightly unlucky, and you lose $1. What is the fair price for this game? Okay. This is some notes. You do not win back the cost of playing the game. The fair price is the price in which the player can be expected to break even. So that's, that means the expected value would be zero between winning and losing. Write your answers in dollars. Okay. Omit symbols like dollar signs for the program I'm using there. Okay, so let's bring this all together. So first of all, we've got 139 envelopes and all together, and five contain a lot of money. So we have a five out of 139 chance of winning 1,487, and then eight contain $89 each. So eight out of 139, multiply that by 89, and then the three unlucky ones, so you're going to lose $543. Okay, and that happens how often. There are three of them out of 139. And the rest are slightly lucky, it says. You lose a dollar. So the rest, you lose one dollar. And how many are in the rest? Well, 139 minus 5, so 134, minus 8, 126, minus 3, 123. So there are 123 left out of 139. So one strategy, and I'll show this how to finish this in a moment, make sure we, have the, we agree on the answer, is to add up all these things. You add up all these things, that tells you on average what would you expect to win. So then the fair price would be the opposite of that number, right? The fair price cancels out the average winnings with an average cost of the game, and that would make it essentially fair. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it that I saw, I've seen many students do this, is to solve it all directly in an equation and say, well, you want to take away the the cost of the game because you don't want it back from each of these prizes, right? So if it's like a $10 game and you win this big prize, yeah, you do win $1,487, but you had to pay $10 to get there. Then we want to add in 89 minus X times 8 over 139. Then we want to subtract, well, here we have 543. And here you, because we're subtracting, I guess I, I'm going to write like this, plus x. Right, we're subtracting 543 and x, the amount of the game. We're subtracting both of them. But you could also write it as this, plus negative 543 minus x. Those are equivalent, right? So write whichever one makes sense to you. Probably this one does. You lose 543 and you lose the amount you pay. But I'm going to write it as I have it here. It just looks a little bit cleaner to me. Times 3 over 139. And then we subtract 1 plus x times, I'm running out of room, 123 over 139. These will get the same results. It's just that in the second problem, when you solve for x, you have to equate it to 0. I have scrolled I could have just scrolled over oh boy so that that let me fix that this is saying 1 plus x times 123 over 129 you get to set it equal to zero if you solve for x in this case when the apps the uh, expected value is zero you'll get the same thing in the end just realize that the first problem is modeling something different the first problem is essentially finding what the average winnings will be and then from that, you can extrapolate that the fair price of the game is the opposite of that number. Now, unfortunately, especially for this problem right here, I can't pull up my calculator on the screen, so I'm going to just say what I do as I do it. First, we have 1487 times 5 over 139. I put 5 over 139 in parentheses, plus 89 times 8 over 139, minus 
543 times 3 over 139, and then minus 1 times parentheses 1, 2, 3 over 139. And it's about $46. In this case, it's uh, to the nearest hundredth. That's what we're rounding to. Nearest hundredth, yep. It's actually still $46. So the, the answer would be 46. So if you solve for x in the second equation, I encourage you to try to do it. You will get 46. It's the same exact thing. All right. I hope that helps.